and the national leadership of Unity Schools Old Students Association, USOSA, has expressed sadness over the current state of insecurity in the country, saying the federal government have not lived up to its responsibilities. Speaking on State of the Nation, a president general of the association, Lawrence Wilbert, said that as a group, they are unsettled, angered by the series of wanton killings and kidnappings of thousands of innocent Nigerians by terrorists and numerous other devious bloodthirsty groups. Usosa, the umbrella body for the over 1 million alumni of the 104 federal unity schools in Nigeria, however, urged the federal government to enforce an atmosphere for peaceful living in the country. The pain of Nigerians has been forgotten at the table of politics gaming. Now, we also do have a, a huge number of Nigerians waiting to be rescued from the terrorists and bandits across the nation. We need to, we need to shine a light on this, that any of us here could be victims, and by the day are happening victims to the banditry, the terrorism, the killings that is going on across the nation. We need our people to be secure. And so it is time for us to speak out. We need to be safe in our own country. We, are not, we don't have any other country. We are not going to run to any other country. We need to be safe in this country. And that's why we're speaking out now. The reason why it's important, more important than ever before, that as we journey on to 2023 and beyond, unity becomes the bedrock of what we do. So if you're in anywhere, in the offices, in, your, in the politics, in government, in the army, the guiding principle of everything we do is unity because that's what's important that will move us from where we are today to where we want to get to as a nation. One nation bound in freedom, peace and unity. They say it is time for citizens to look for the right leaders to govern them as the, chance, uh, the change needs to start from the coming general elections. Let each and every one of us go out there, get our PVCs, and be ready to stand by our votes on those days. Now, there's something else that needs to change in this country, money politics. We need to recognize that 500 Naira, 5,000 Naira, 10,000 Naira, whatever it is that the politicians give you, a bag of rice, a bag of beans, is not worth the suffering that you go through thereafter. Every stress index of our economy, there's been deterioration. Okay, um, whether you're looking at security or the insecurity, whether you're looking at food security, economic security, health security, energy security, they are all in distress. The challenge for every government is to bridge the gap between growth and development. Growth in numbers versus the collateral infrastructure to service those numbers. In Nigeria, the gap has been widening. And the director of protestant chaplaincy in Nigeria Air Force, Air Commodore Dogo Ghani, has called on Nigerians to pray fervently to God seeking his intervention in addressing the current security challenges in the country. Air Commodore Ghani was speaking on the sideline of a Thanksgiving service for women and fellowship of the Nigerian Air Force protestant held in Abuja. Our defense correspondent, Aundana India, reports. The last of such a Thanksgiving service was held in 2018. Several challenges, particularly COVID-19, compelled organizers to look into the future. These women are thanking God for so many reasons, protection of their husbands and their families, and generally praying for the country. As regards the ongoing battle against terrorists, bandits, and other criminals, there is a consensus that men of the Nigerian Air Force, just like other sister services, are giving their very best. In fact, many of them have lost their lives serving this nation. They are putting on their, they are doing their best to be sincere to you. And that's why why many people see that best. But many of their husbands, many of their husbands die in the war front. It's nothing but prayers. That's the utmost and the first thing that each and every one of us is required to do, which is part of our activities during this program, to pray for the nation, to pray for the challenges. Peace on the home front is equally important. 
women who are abused in one way or the other by their spouses encouraged to speak out and seek help. If you know that your husband has a problem, like what we just faced recently, apparently he had a problem. It might be a mental problem of wanting to dominate. Please don't keep quiet. Make sure that you tell all those who you need to tell. And if your life is at risk, please make sure you run away. And I believe that such women too should find place in fellowship like this. And I'm sure with advices from elderly women, they will help them how to solve such, handle such situations. There are some women who are causing the problem. Please mind how you talk. For these women gathered here, it is obvious that they also want to see an end to insecurity in Nigeria. From Abuja, Aonduna, Inga, Silverbird News 24.